Okay, so go ahead and and you're gonna have to come here to the XE file. And uh, I think now we can just, just double click. And then it's going to do its magic and then search through. So now you can go ahead and do whatever you want with your with your phone on your PC. For example, if you want to go ahead, maybe chat in uh, in WhatsApp, uh, but then it's locked, so you cannot hear. Okay, you can do any crazy things that you want to be performing on your phone. And maybe if you if you try typing here with your keyboard, you see you can uh, type with the keyboard, and everything will be input directly with your uh with your keyboard so what is going on everyone i'm in a bus with you here welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to control your android phone with your pc or laptop so if you find this video helpful please support my channel by smashing the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos like this and let us begin. So firstly, you're going to have to go to this website here. And then you're going to have to download the software that is called SCRPY. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so you are going to go ahead and download it. It's already downloaded. Okay, just go ahead and open the folder. Okay, we can go ahead and copy. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to extract here. Yeah, extract to there. And then it's going to bring the folder that we've extracted around here. So go ahead and right click and maybe copy. So according to your choice, you can paste this anywhere, but in this case, I am testing this one here okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your android phone here and then go to the settings and then scroll down and look for the what you're looking for is for is the about section in most cases you're not going to be following what i'm doing but look for where your about section is if you don't know how to find that just go to the search and go to the about Yes, it's going to search for it and then bring it. So in this case, I just want to show you something that uh, in this case, when I go here, you don't realize that I, uh, there is an option that I'm going to look for later and you're going to realize that it's going to appear here. So go ahead and go to the about section. OK, scroll down. What you're looking for is the build number of that phone. This is an Android. Go ahead and uh, d click. It's going to need you to click like seven times. It's going to prompt you to put your password and then go ahead, put in your password. Okay, don't mind, I can show you my password. Okay, go ahead and, uh, okay, so you are now a developer. So we've activated the developer mode and it is active. So when you go back and go to settings and now go back to the system and now you can see that we have a new option called developer options. So from this stage, you're gonna have to go to the developer options and then scroll down and you look for what they call the debugging mode. So here you go. So you have the USB debugging. What you're gonna do is you're going to activate okay it's going to prompt you all this so just go ahead and press okay okay so here you're done and you are just going to go there so you're gonna have to grab your usb cable that uh sends data to the pc connect your usb cable to your pc and then plug it into your phone just like that Okay, so if you want, you can go ahead and just use for maybe transfer files. And then on your PC, you're going to have to, you're going to see this and just uh, just close this. You don't need that right now. So you're going to go ahead and open the folder that you downloaded. Okay, so go ahead and, and you're going to have to come here to the XE file. And uh, I think now we can just, just double click. And then it's going to do its magic and then search through. So in most cases, I've connected my phone before. That's why it does not prompt me. But if you, if it prompts you to input anything on your phone, just do allow and accept your PC to access your phone and you are good to go. For some reason, I think I've done this already on my phone and it does not, it, it, it already trusts my PC and there you go. So now you can go ahead and do whatever you want with your, 
with your phone on your PC. For example, if you want to go ahead, maybe chat in uh, in WhatsApp, uh, but then it's locked, so you cannot hear. Okay, I'm gonna have to unlock, to, uh, unlock it for you, and maybe, uh, okay, so I don't need to unlock it for you. Okay, so I'm gonna have to maybe, uh, what, maybe Google. So you can do any crazy things that you want to be performing on your phone. And maybe if you if you try typing here with your keyboard, you see, you can uh, type with the keyboard and everything will be input directly with your uh, with your keyboard. And uh, if you want to reduce the amount of power your phone is drawing, you're going to have to scroll down, scroll down or do it with your phone directly and then reduce the reduce the display light and then go ahead and use your phone just like that so that's how you control your android phone with your pc or laptop so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section down below I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.